I'm doing a short series about what it's like being a career mom versus a stay-at-home mom. I just did a previous video about what it's like being a career mom, the pros and the cons. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure after you get done with this one is that you go back and watch that one too. This video is for a mom that's working in her career and you are considering becoming a stay at home mom. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons of being a stay-at-home mom. One thing I love about being middle-aged, and that is that I have experienced a lot of things. I had the pleasure of experiencing what it was like being a stay-at-home mom and also a career mom. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video, because that's when I'm going to share with you which role I preferred. First, I want to talk about the cons of being a stay-at-home mom. One of the main challenges I had of being a stay-at-home mom, I can remember getting bored a lot. During the time that they would be at school, I was at least two or three hours out of the day. I had a lot of extra time, and I can remember just getting bored and trying to figure out what I needed to do with my time. And I guess the reason why I was so bored is because I was used to having them around me. Now, I was different from a lot of the parents too, from the fact that most parents that I have been around, once their kids start going to school, that was their highlight of the day. They was happy about it. But for me, it was different. I actually missed my children once they went to school. I always had like a routine going on at home, even though I never written anything down. But once I I was done with my daily routine of cleaning and cooking something for my family. I had a lot of extra time on my hand and I didn't really know what to do with the extra time. So that's why I was so bored. Before my kids start grade school, the majority of my day was wrapped around them. One of the main responsibilities of a parent is to watch your children to make sure that they are safe to find them something to do. <laughs> my whole life catered around my children and also my husband. And I can remember feeling unfulfilled. And I felt like that I should be doing more with my life. So that's when I decided to go to college and to pursue a career. Now I'm going to discuss the pros of being a stay-at-home mom. One of the main pros for me was spending time with my kids, watching them grow, watching them develop, watching them learn things. One of the main parts too that I loved about being a stay-at-home mom is that I was able to train my kids to teach them how to respect themselves and others. Those are very important characteristics that I wanted my children to have. And so I was blessed to where I was able to raise my own kids. I think one of the best things of being a stay-at-home mom is that you don't miss out on any moments of your child's life. You're going to be the first one to know when they learn something new. When I was working and which meant that my husband spent more time with my kids than what I did that did bother me because I wanted them to depend on me and I wanted to be closer to them. So I was a little jealous of that when he was able to spend more time with them. Another important benefit of being a stay-at-home mom is self-care. Whenever there were times to where I felt a little stressful, I figured out what I needed to do. I was able to make choices with my own life. I had my husband. He was so understanding and he was available to where he would give me breaks to where I could go some places by myself when I desired to. When I think about my life and if I had to choose between being a career mom and a stay-at-home mom, I would choose being a stay-at-home mom. And the reason why is because for me, 
it was very important to be connected with my children. And I was more connected with them when I was a stay at home mom. I don't look down on career moms or stay at home moms. Both of your roles are very important. It's just that you have to choose a life that works out best for you and your family. After watching this video, which role would you rather be in? Would you rather be a career or a stay-at-home mom? And why? If you need some mom advice, schedule a consultation with me on Candorly. The information will be in my description below. I love hearing from you guys. If you want me to do more videos about mom tips or if you have a question that you need to ask me, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you check out some of my other videos about parenting. Bye.